Hey, what is up, guys? What is up, enthusiasts? What is up, my friends? It is me here, Sergio, with Take Over Clacked. I'm going to be the host of today's video. I am the only host in here. Anyways, so today AMD announced their AMD processor, Zen. Well, it was supposed to be Zen. But at the last minute, or on the stream today, they decided to name it Ryzen. Ryzen? 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 Anyways, whatever the name. They announced that it's going to be an 8 core 16 thread processor. Let me read the specs in here. The frequency is going to be at 3.4 or higher. The processor that they announced today, it's 3.4. The boost mode is not announced yet, but the one that they tested today is going to be at 3.4 gigahertz. So we don't know how much it's going to boost up. This is right here that it has 20 megabytes of cache and it's going to be on the new AM4 ecosystem this processor guys watching the stream it has so many cool features if you haven't watched the stream i'm gonna leave it down below in the description so go ahead and check it out it's really good and they also talk about the new system amd sense mi the technology capable of learning on the fly and what does that mean well i brought my notes down well it pretty much out of the text the environment of the cpu as an example if you're using water cooling what is it going to do it's going to see and it's going to detect that it's running at lower temperatures so that means that it's going to boost up higher by itself it's going to do the pretty much kind of overclocking by itself and if you're using like an air cooler and the temperatures are a little higher it's going to limit the auto overclock to that limit i mean that is what i understood of this new system technology that they're putting into the chip so that is something really cool that it's it, it's a new technology and i and i do appreciate that from amd and on the stream guys they did a performance test versus the i7 6900k now the 6900k it's an eight core processor 16 threads that's what they selected this one to compete against and it runs at 3.2 gigahertz and it boosts up to 3.7 gigahertz and the ryzen ran the test at 3.4 gigahertz with no boost and at the performance test if you watch the video you can see that they perform actually zen or Ryzen outperform the 6900K just by few seconds about probably five or six seconds something like that now the AMD processor Ryzen it's 95 watts TDP versus 140 watts TDP on the 6900K now that right there was a kick on the butt and wow now also the 6900k runs at eleven hundred dollars that is one thing that the ceo of amd rub it against everyone's face check this out but now guys that i talk about the specs i want to share my opinion of this event now there's some things that i noticed in I didn't like about this whole event when they did the comparison in battlefield one they clearly say look at the fps but when they show the screen i didn't see no fps nowhere there was no fps comparison whatsoever they use the same processor the same graphics card but on this computer on the right it was the ryzen and on the left it was the 6900k both using gtx titan x the pascal they did not show any fps now they clearly marked that this processor was designed for gamers and obviously for production as you know 3d rendering 3d editing they showed this game developer you know doing some edits and whatnot but i didn't see any frames per second comparison they said they did but i didn't see absolutely nothing and at the end of the day that is what matters they are going versus the 6900k so where were the fps now when they show this guy playing dota or that game those type of games that i don't like i didn't see any fps now when they talk about the 6700k not being powerful enough and that the guy was struggling and we could see on the stream that he was struggling i have live stream 
with the 6700K. I have live streamed with the 6700K, encoding, gaming, audio microphones, a whole bunch of things running at the same time. The 6700K is a very powerful CPU. I don't know why AMD threw it underneath the bus. They just smashed it. That shit is garbage. That's what pretty much they said. The CPU is not powerful enough. It is powerful enough. I have tested it. So that is what another thing that I didn't like either. Another thing that I found kind of strange. It was at the end of the stream when they had this girl testing the game Star Wars Battlefront something something and it was showing 4k and yaddy yaddy they were screen capturing with a camera they show no FPS even though they said there's FPS more than 60 FPS in here being limited by the 60 Hertz limit of the monitor and yaddy yaddy blah 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 those are some things that I didn't like of the stream and I thought that was kind of odd if you find it like that as well so i am not hating on amd i really hope that amd brings up the market and i really hope that processor is a success because i want to give amd a chance with my customers i build custom computers and one thing that i would hate is a customer getting back at me upset because the computer crashes the computer freezes because, they, because I sold him something not reliable or something that is just going to give him crap and because I wanted to save some money and I built a budget computer and made a profit off of it now I'm going to get headaches back. I really hope that AMD steps it up this time with this processor and that I can do computer builds with AMD and that is one of the main reasons why I really don't build computers with AMD processors. I am not a big corporation to be doing repairs and returns and yaddy yaddy, I am not. So I have to watch out what I build. Guys, I'm gonna conclude this video with this. I really hope that AMD steps it up this time. And if they do, if they're able to compete with Intel on the processors, the price is gonna drop. The prices are going to drop everywhere. Because honestly, Intel, they rape us all every time there's a release. See, and that is one thing that the CEO mentioned. You know what? We are competing versus a $1,100 CPU that uses more TDP power, 140 watts. Versus our CPU that is going to run a lower temps, lower TDP, and lower in your wallet. It's gonna cost less. It's gonna use. It's gonna be less harder, and it comes with this great technology built in. So I really hope that AMD can step it up this time, and I really hope it's not another BS overhype announcement that is going to be another slap on the face product, because AMD has done it for the past what three or four years. They just have been failing and failing. To the point where back in 2015 we thought AMD was just going to fade away because everything they were releasing it was just crap. Not living up to the hype that they were announcing. You know, so guys, thanks for watching this video. Leave your thoughts down below. Tell me what do you think. Tell me if I should give AMD a chance either way. I mean, I really want to see the results of this processor before i can say you know what i'm gonna get this processor i'm gonna build it for a customer because it's reliable all right this was your host sergio with tech over clock i'll see you guys next time stay beautiful stay awesome i hope that you enjoyed the gameplay on the background